Eight on your side, special coverage. Cuba mourns Castro. Cuba's nine-day period of mourning comes to an end this weekend with a funeral for the communist dictator. Today, his ashes continued their journey around the country. Jeff Patterson is the only Tampa Bay Area reporter on the ground in Cuba this week showing us history unfolding. Imagine sitting in your home tonight and on every channel of every TV is the same programming. Nine consecutive days with programming just about one person and his life. Well, that's exactly what's going on here this week in Cuba, as Cuba marks the passing of Fidel Castro. Well, just all, all the channels, all the programs are talking about what uh, the bad news that we have that uh, Fidel Castro just died. All day, every day on Cuban TV, the programming is focused only on Fidel. It was showing his entire life by pieces. Picture when he was a little kid on his house, uh, people that story his life talk about him and uh, you can feel it you can feel it that people are really sad ricardo hernandez told me despite what some americans may believe this isn't normal for his country well we have a lot of different uh, programs we have uh, from cartoons to soap operas movies the program tracks the progress of fidel castro's funeral procession across the country as a military jeep pulls the trailer carrying the casket with fidel's cremated remains through the countryside and small towns people wave flags many cry openly it will never happen again what it just happened here because 50 what six 56 years uh, uh president is the only person that know my wife was crying when we heard the news and i feel really sad about it i mean it was like a wow we just lost uh a, a big man fidel castro may be hated in some parts of the united states but he is still a revered figure here who is having a lasting impact on the day-to-day -day lives of Cubans, even past his death. In Havana, Cuba, Jeff Patterson, News Channel 8. And Jeff has been in Cuba all this week. He'll be bringing us exclusive reports through the weekend as the country continues to mourn the death of Fidel Castro.